Right, so for this problem, it says that a company is considering investing in a particular project. The project requires an investment of X today, and additional investments are required in the near future of the next five years, with each year's investment 5% greater than the previous year's investment. Invested in it is expected to produce an income of 100 per year at the end of each year forever, and uh, with the first payment expected at the end of the year, okay? Net present value. All right, so the first thing that we have to keep in mind is that it says that the investment is expected to produce an income of 100 per year at the end of each year forever. Okay, so That would mean that if a company is considering uh, is considering investment in a particular project, requires an amount of X today. Okay. Well, first we want to figure out what is the present value of the income. So, present value of the income, which will consist of a hundred. Per year, mm -hmm. forever. I, I assume ten point twenty five percent. So this is income. So let's find out what the present value of this is. So I would do a hundred. Divided by point ten twenty five. And now, if I get my calculator, I get a hundred divided by point ten twenty five, which is ninety seven five point sixty. Now the next one is that uh, we want to find the present value of the investment, right? So the project requires an investment of X today. X today and additional investments are required for each of the next five years with 5% greater than the other. So look up something like this. Uh, up until it's five and at the same time we would have to discount it back so to find the present value we do first term we're going to take out x right so first term minus first omitted term so first term would be one, then minus the omitted term of 1.05 to the six V. Right, uh, over one minus common ratio. Right, and then we put this there, and then we put X here. Right, so if the project requires an investment, and we're finding the present value of these investments, and at the same time, the project is expected to produce an income, and at the end, it says that the net present value is zero, that means that the income that we're receiving exactly matches the investment that we are putting in. So we're gonna have to set these two equations equal to each other, but first let's solve this. So I'm gonna do one minus, 
Five point three two nine. That's so I'm going to divide it. So I'm going to get one hundred eighty three point zero seven, which will be my answer, which is 